Right, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raihan. I'm a third year medical student. Today's video is my efficient and effective memorizing technique to memorize more or less anything. She said, Do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub. I even got it tatted on me. Now, before I go ahead with this video, um, if you guys want to find me on Instagram or Snapchat, I'll put all of this up there. This is my Instagram account, and uh, here is my Snapchat. Um, I do post regularly, well, I try to, whenever I get free time, to post on my social media, so you can find us on that. And also, if you wanted to check out the rest of my channel, there are plenty of medical school related videos, and A-level, GCSE, other tips and advice, vlogs, whatever you want to see, they'll probably be on there. Also, I've been asked quite a lot to put in the links for the books that I recommend for medical school and for the books that I recommend for GCSEs or A-levels and the stethoscope that I use and stuff like this and my camera kit. So I put all the links in the description below so you can check them out as well. Now, let me start with the actual video. Basically, right, I make YouTube videos, I tutor, so I've I tutor a few kids. I also do a lot of other activities in my spare time. Football, uh, gym, etc, etc. Considering I'm at, I'm at uni from 9 o'clock till 5 o'clock, I'm not really left with much time after uni to like do things in my spare time. So I kind of developed a technique over the course of two years which I use and it's helping me sort of pass my exams. Now, this technique that I'm going to tell you about is like probably the most efficient or the effective technique that I've came across and it's, it's based on scientific research uh, which I will try and include also in this video. I did take time to sort of look up different techniques and this is a technique that I found and this is the one that's helped me the most. So the first thing that I always do right is an introduction to the topic. What I mean by this is say for example I'm going to spend a week doing or learning about a certain topic for example antibiotics bacteria and which antibiotics to use to treat certain bacteria now this is quite a big topic because you have to learn about bacteria you have to learn about antibiotics and then you have to learn which antibiotic am i going to give to which bacteria so for this I have to first introduce myself to the topic and and the way i do this is you know i'll take a day where I spend just watching a couple of YouTube videos, different videos about bacteria, about um, antibiotics, the different classifications and different things about them. This is just to sort of introduce my, my mind to this topic and just to get a general idea of you know the how much content there actually is in this topic and I'm not really trying to memorize everything uh, yet. I'm just, like I said, I'm just introducing myself slowly um, to sort of gain a bit of confidence and gain a general idea about bacteria and about antibiotics. So number one is introducing yourself to the topic and the way you do this is through YouTube videos or reading a couple of things online and um, speaking to your friends about it, however you want to go about it. But first you have to introduce yourself. The second thing that I do is simplify all of this or all the information into notes. So on the second day, I'm going to then spent a couple of hours sat sat down making notes on the things that I went through yesterday and for this you can you know watch YouTube videos or you can use your lecture slides or your revision guides or whatever you want to use whatever resource you want to use you can use that and make notes on those certain topics now with your notes you want to simplify and only include things that are very important. You don't want to copy out everything in the video, everything that the video says. You want to summarize into your own words the most important things, use colors and, and all these sort of things. And I'll explain why the colors are important uh, very soon. Now, when you're making your notes, plan your day out. So plan your next couple of hours out. Spend about 30 minutes making the notes. Spend about 15 minutes then taking a break 
and then 30 minutes and then 15 minutes and then 30 minutes and then 50 15 minutes your concentration generally lasts about 30 minutes uh, 30 to 45 minutes now it's different for different people but for me I, I've realized that when I'm revising or doing work for 30 minutes and then taking a 15 minute break it might not be as productive as I might initially think however because I'm taking breaks and I'm concentrating when I come back to the revision I'm actually learning a lot more than I expect so it might mean that you're gonna have to spend you know an, an hour or two extra revising or doing work but it's worth it in the long run because you'll actually remember what you're learning so that's why I say 30 minutes and then 15 minutes number three get a voice recording app on your phone or your ipad or you know or at least get a voice recorder anything like this but make sure you get something that allows you to play multiple recordings one after the other or play one recording on repeat now this is probably the most important part of the revision and the memorizing process so the what you're basically going to do is the notes that you've made the ones that you've simplified and highlighted and, and you know simplified into the most important key things that you need to mention and, and that you need to learn you're gonna teach yourself those topics in the form of a voice note and for me to teach myself I need to understand it first so I'll obviously spend a bit of time understanding the topic understanding you know um, how these antibiotics work and uh, I'll watch a couple of videos like I said remember you have to introduce yourself to the topic and this is kind of where you gain an initial understanding of the topic so once you understand the topic then you're able to teach it to someone now the fourth thing this is also very important and this is kind of when I realized right I've actually learned this topic properly now like I've sat my exams in first and second year and I've not really been that confident because sometimes I've even a week before the exam I just think to myself like I'm learning all this information but it's kind of coming in one way and then leaving the other way so like I was kind of scared like in my first and second year exams with this technique I've actually felt a lot more confident because I feel like I've retained a lot of the information and um, which I you know which I usually struggle to do so Number four is playing these topics and playing these voice recordings back first thing in the morning. So, when I wake up, I've got my phone. Now, before I used to be, sometimes I used to listen to music and, and, and like um, go on Snapchat and Instagram and spend about half an hour doing, you know, wasting my time basically on that. Now, what I do, is basically while I'm brushing my teeth, while I'm getting ready, you know, I listen or if I or even if I'm showering, I have a listen to these voice recordings and the reason I do this first thing in the morning is because for myself I've noticed that when I do something first thing in the morning I'm most I feel like my brain is most focused at that period of time. So usually when I do a bit of revision in the morning instead of doing it in the evening I notice I, I remember these things a lot clear and a lot better than when I would revise during the evening this is why I like to listen to voice recordings of the topics first thing in the morning while I'm getting ready and it's also making like effective use of my time like while I'm getting ready instead of getting brushing my teeth in silence or instead of listening to Ramza's new song then often if i've got a long journey to uni or, or hospital and then in the car if i'm by myself that is i would listen to some of these voice recordings um in the car and you know like it makes a long journey sometimes feel short because you you see the time go by very quick while you're listening to these voice recordings like you're also testing yourself sometimes you try and predict what you're gonna say uh, before you know before you say it on the voice recording and again you'll listen to the content again which is reinforcing the information don't listen to the voice recordings all day because it will drive you crazy like I'm not trying to tell you to listen to you know the only thing that you listen to is your voice recordings and your own voice like I did 
I do usually take breaks and sometimes put on a few songs and then go back to the voice recordings etc or even when I'm in the shower then I listen to the voice recordings um, nowadays most phones are waterproof which is brilliant because I can just take my phone in the shower um, and, and listen to, to these um, voice recordings and not have to worry about my phone getting you know water damage and you'll realize yourself that when you're listening back to these voice notes like you can picture some of the pit some of the notes that you made initially like i remember when i was preparing for my last exams and i was listening back to these voice recordings i was remembering in my head i could i could imagine like i could picture exactly where i was highlighting exactly where i underlined words that were in bold i were you know like appearing in my in my mind and and it's it's quite crazy like it's it sounds like you know it sounds surreal but it actually does happen like this is when you know that you're learning normally when i'm revising i just you know read and read and read and this kind of gets boring after a while because it's just something that you're looking at the only sense that you're utilizing in this revision process is your vision like you're just reading you're just looking at your notes however if you connect two different senses you're creating better brain connections and when i'm listening back to some of this some of these recordings like i can pick literally picture like places where i highlighted places where i underlined places where it was bold and and what places where i crossed off things in my notes and this is when i realized right this technique is actually working like before i would never be able to uh, picture in my head the actual notes that I made now because like you know not only am I using my eyes to read I'm using my ears to listen to the revision like I'm connecting two different senses and and I feel like it's actually working but for me like I genuinely found that a big confidence boost especially when I was revising and um, it made me feel a lot better realizing that okay like this seems to actually be working so that is basically my technique for memorizing this year and so far it's, it's helped me quite a lot i mean i feel a lot more confident in my exams it is helping me um cut down the amount of time i'm i'm having to spend sitting just reading books or or reading my notes before i used to be spending a lot of hours just making endless notes and, and endless you know spending time just reading through all the notes again and highlighting once twice and then watching all these different videos now i can carry on with my daily activities and i'm i'm memorizing at the same time you know i'm spending less time sat down just specifically revising and now i'm being a lot more productive and efficient with my time and i can carry on doing the activities in my in my social life while i'm revising and and, and preparing for me exams essentially so these are my tips on how to memorize now you can use this for anything for any exam obviously be creative adapt it to your own individual exams and hopefully this technique is helpful if it has been helpful make sure you subscribe and there's a bell basically like beside the subscribe button make sure you click on that bell so then every time i upload these very helpful videos you get a notification and you can be the first one to watch me video basically so um but yeah and, and and youtube will send you a notification when i upload a video so thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe as usual and bye for now